Hi everyone, uh, it's Mama J, this is Kizzy. Want to thank the volunteers for helping on this trip this weekend, getting Kizzy to her home in Virginia. Kizzy is part French Bulldog and part Boston Terrier. So that is called a Frenchton or some call it a faux Frenchie. Faux spelled F-A-U-X. Um, Kizzy weighs about 12 pounds, so obviously she's small. Some of you have moved dogs for Opie's Rescue before that are English Bulldog puppies that are incontinent. Uh, so it's same on the diapering. Um, Kizzy will always be incontinent due to spina bifida or spinal cord defect. So I'm just gonna give you a quick demo on changing her. I have sent the family another couple video links on diapering, so they will also be watching this. I may talk about just a few things briefly that may be more geared towards them, uh, but overall, um, it's just mostly to show everyone how to diaper her. She is in a suspender setup. I've also talked to the family about the fact that they can put uh, like baby onesies on her since she's small. But for the trip, she will be in these suspenders. You do not need to take them off when you change her at the different junctions of the trip. Um, she may need to be changed at every stop or every other. Um, she does not have the ability to go potty. She's no paws on the ground anyway, but even if she wasn't, uh, she's fully incontinent, which means she doesn't know when she has to go to the bathroom. So when you're changing her, um, you can just stand her like this. You just leave all of this on. You don't have to take it off. There's two clips under here that you just unhook, and there's two clips up here. The tabs on the diaper are right up here at the top, so you'll just untab those. Right now, she has some stool in her diaper, and she has also peed some. So, obviously on a girl, you wipe down here for the urinary part and get that clean. And then for the area where she poops, uh, you just use a different clean wipe and clean that out. You wanna be careful on these incontinent dogs not to rub too hard. They will tend to have some bleeding back here, which is normal for their condition. But you, a lot of us have a tendency when something's dirty, we kinda wanna rub hard and you don't wanna do that on these pups. So if for some reason, you know, you're seeing kind of something you tend to want to rub, just kind of pat it like that. And then I can have the overnight person that's keeping her kind of give her a partial bath back here when she gets to their place on Saturday night. Um, so you just wipe all this area as best you can, clean the urinary part. You can also take a wipe and clean right under here, under her belly to get that area clean. Right now, she's kind of between a size one and size two diaper. These are size two. I'm gonna send size two on the trip. So when you open it up, you want these tabs to end up here on her back. So just slide it under, pull the diaper up, bring the tabs up to the top of her back, like that. Then take the suspender clips. You wanna fold the diaper material back some so that when you clip it, it's kinda of got something to hold on to that's folded. You do the same thing over here. Down under here, you'll do the same thing. Kinda of gather the material of the diaper and clip. Be careful not to pinch her skin under here. Same on this side, run the suspender under bunch up the material and clip. Very easy to change her and she's very cooperative. I will also put some toddler pull-ups that are 2T, 3T. They're a little bit big on her. So if you decide to use them for overnight or whatever, you'll have to fold them back a little bit because they are a little bit big for her, but I will send plenty of diapers. 
These Pampers wipes are my favorite. They're the soft ones and they don't have any fragrance in them. And there'll be plenty of those in the trip. Uh, just so the family knows, they can use diaper cream products. You won't necessarily need them for the trip, uh, but this just shows some things that you can use. This is also a good product uh, for urinary, um, little rash around the urinary area. And powder, just an off-brand is fine. I usually use cornstarch. So that is it for Miss Kizzy on diapering her. Um, really nothing else that you would need to know. I'll send a jug of water and plenty of supplies and her food will be in little baggies uh, so that you can feed her. And any questions you can just post in the thread on the group. All right, thank you.